Hi there, I'm Dr. Ben Britton, and I'm here to talk you through an introduction to crystallography and electron backscatter diffraction, otherwise known as EPSD. So the outline of these talks, so I've broken them into this pre-recorded segment with eight sections. So section one is asking what can EBSD tell you? Uh, so it gives some ideas of analyses that are present. Uh, two gives you EBSD and crystal orientations. And uh, for those of you who are a bit rusty, it has some basic crystallography recapping to help us understand the features that we anticipate seeing in EBSD experiments. Uh, video three will show the how patterns are formed, the scattering and diffraction physics or basics thereof, uh, and how the patterns are captured and some factors to consider in that. Video four will give us an idea how to actually index a diffraction pattern and how the automated routines work. Uh, five gives a, a validation of the orientation conventions that we're going to use, so we're going to understand which way is up, and the coordinate systems that are involved in these experiments. Uh, section six will give an overview of how we do some basic EBSD data analysis. Section seven will give some uh, overview and guidance on how we conduct an EBSD experiment in practice. Uh, and section eight will give you some ideas of sort of the future directions and some areas of sort of cutting edge research in this field. Now there are some, some references that will be of use. So there are two books called EBSD and Material Science. They're different in their scope, so they're well worth a, a look in the entirety. Uh, there's a fantastic paper by John Humphreys that talks about quantitative metallography in EBSD. Uh, I wrote with Angus Wilkinson uh, a review paper that will show some figures of. It's quite a nice taster of bits and pieces uh, in EBSD. Uh, David Dingley wrote a much earlier review paper looking at the progressive steps and, and development process. So we'll give you some of the history and choices that were made in the methodology. Um, we've introduced a tutorial that I'll talk you through. Uh, I think that was in uh, section uh, six, effectively, oh, sorry, section five, the validation step that's on this tutorial. Uh, and then there's a couple of or three pieces of software that you may find useful. Uh, so uh, colleagues and myself have, have worked on generating an indexing toolkit that's fully open source. Uh, there are some uh, pattern matching approaches inside that. Uh, there is a uh, dynamical simulations and pattern matching within EM soft uh, that's generated by uh, Mark, de Mark de Graft's group and colleagues. Uh, and then MTech is a data plotting routine found in MATLAB, uh, or downloaded and uh, used in MATLAB that enables us to plot orientation data and that's generated by uh, Ralph Heischler and, and colleagues and so can be found here. Uh, with that, uh, please, when you're ready, uh, progress to uh, video one.